Well, I got up early this morning and found a couple 24 inch mountain bike tires to put on the back of this thing. So that's cool. The seat's a little wonky, but I don't know why they turned around. I guess they were short, turned this neck around so they could reach. It's got nice grips on it though, stock grips, brakes work. I don't know. I think I'll leave it like that. If somebody wants to change it, they can just spin it around, figure it out. All right, we're gonna take a ride back over to the uh, clean out job. See what Fred's getting into. Uh, and at some point today, we gotta get ready for the flea market tomorrow, so. Busy, busy, busy. going to be an expensive trailer. Go up right here side, make sure there's nobody bothering all the lanes in there. Right. Now the other side's free of grass. What happened with your bungee? You have it in there? No. no. Here. So go up. It looks like mostly aluminum. Not really, no. Siding. Whoa! <laughs> He's like fishing with a hook. This thing's still on a pole. <laughs> Take a break. This is one screwed up machine. Yeah. Yeah. Throw them up in a pile. So we'll have to pick them up this is down. stainless. We'll throw them up. If you throw them up here, we're going to have to pick it up. You don't have to lean down to the ground. Oh, I know, but... Offload it. I see all kinds of stuff mixed in yeah, here. Yeah, all this earlier. Thorns. Mostly thorn. This looks like metal. Oh, that's extruded. It's mostly medical stuff in here. Yeah. Right here. Extruded? Yep. That's all part of this system, whatever it is. It's like traction, right? Yeah. Like when you break your leg or whatever, and you're in the bed with your leg hanging in the air. Right? 
Yeah. That's what it looks yeah, like, right? It is. <clears throat> this this sign still got a pole on it. Finally, I found a sign. Finally. Yeah. It's still got a pole on it. It looks like a stop sign and cool. be careful. It's there you go. What did it say? Caution, watch children or something? Yeah, we need that. This is extruded. I'm about pedestrian. What? Caution, watch for pedestrians, yeah. See this is stainless. Oh, that sounds nasty. That's the look. That's the scrapper kiss of death. Good thing it's it's stainless, right? Mm. Otherwise, that'd be some nasty. Oh, there it goes. Ugh. Don't get that down your leg in the morning. Oh, I think we need a weed whacker or a brush cutter. You better go buy some of that stuff because I need it. A brush cutter, right? You saw I the, have a brush you cutter at home. There, you should have right? you should have told me to bring the big it. one. Yeah, yeah. I have one too. You should have told me I would have brought it. I think you just forgot. Yeah. There's a piece of heavy right here too. Top of this pile. Let's see if we can get you guys up here somewhere. On the scrap. On the scrap pile. See if you'll stay. Is that working? That might work.
We got something. Take it off. Understand that, but your mud, the mud is it's messing with you. It's super muddy here. There you go. Now go down. I I know it's it's crazy. It's crazy. I know. It ain't gonna start now. There it goes. You're really tearing the yard up, though. It is what it is, though. Okay, we found the first snake. He's so, he's so little. He's so little. What is that, a brown gardener? Uh, it looks like it, yeah. Something like that. We ain't worried about no snakes. All right? He ain't got a rattle. He ain't got a rattle. We're good. There he goes. Go eat some mice. Yeah, can you... What's up with the badger? Can you get that over here or no? Well, I was afraid back there it'll just spin on me, so I figured out how to pass on it. All right, well, let's go look in that pile a little bit better because I didn't... Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, with you and me, we could load this in 10 minutes, you know what I mean, by hand. And then just use it to dump it, you know, because it's so sketchy. But it's like this rack, we can hook and drag that out here in the field, right? So there's pallet racking. There's an I-beam in there, angle iron, right? Big angle iron. Yeah, there's another, like, rack with wheels on it there somewhere. Yeah, like all this loose stuff, because some of this is probably aluminum. Yep. This is. So is that one. Right over by the tarp. That right one. There that one this one you know what i mean so we kind of got a sort uh, did i just see copper in there too what is this that's galvanized right no is that copper that one looks like copper fred yeah is it two inch pull it out of there because that's some money another aluminum pipe right <laughs> See, now I'm not sure if this would go as sheet or extruded. I think, I think if this thick wall stuff is probably extruded. Yeah. I'm gonna say that's extruded because of how thick it is. I mean, it's eighth inch. <laughs> Somebody was asking about poison ivy too. <laughs> Both of them are, right? There you go. See, that's what we don't want to just pick up and dump in there, right? Oh, no. It would, it would all get loaded by hand anyway. PVC. I wonder what that thing is under it. I don't know. It's some sort of stainless rack, it looks like, right? I guess this is going as light. This is heavy, though, man. Yeah, that's heavy. That's heavy, yeah. They were all in love with that, so I kept waiting for them to say, oh, yeah, I'll take that. And they didn't. Yeah, it's some sort of stainless. There's a couple pieces of stainless here. Actually, that top looks aluminum, doesn't it? See it? No, the sides are stainless. Yeah, it's one of them food servers. Yeah, it's like a food side. service cart. So, and then when we get to these pallet racks, we're just going to unhand load them, right? There's Is that more, the plan? Yeah, here's more aluminum down in here. That's what I'm saying. We need to go through it and just load it on the forks, yeah. right? Yeah, it's the same Piece thing. by piece. Same Put thing all over the property. Yep. There's more aluminum on that rack. Yeah. yeah we don't want to be dumping that in there. There's a lot of pallet racking around here. Sumac. <laughs> Look at this. What is this? Look at this. That's one. I don't know what it is. Huh. 
there's a piece of aluminum box tubing in that pile too, you see it? I'm like fencing. This is a fiasco, Fred. <laughs> I mean, really. This is just crazy. It's all gonna have to be done by hand, a lot of it, you know? If that machine will pick this, I'll, I'll, I'll pick it. I don't think you can pick this whole rack up. And then take it, well, if they don't have bolts in there. Yeah, they're locked. Apart, right? Yeah. It'll definitely come apart. I, I don't need, and the way that thing's working, I don't even want to see you try to pick this whole thing up. Horsefly. I would say we unload it by hand, right? Onto the forks, you go dump it, and then if you, once the rack's empty, if you want to try to pick it up, I'd say go for it, right? That way, if it falls off, it falls off there and clangs into a bunch of pieces, it ain't a big deal. I can come down here with a welder and weld this thing up, right? This is a fork extension. Yeah, there's fork extensions on there. You see them right there? Yeah. Another one. Another one. Oh man. All right. Well, what are you gonna do? Go dump this light iron off? Dump light iron. Go go see uh, Mikey and Eddie. I think. Okay. There's more aluminum over. It's all over. It's all over the place, man. You really start looking around. You know, it doesn't look like a whole bunch, but when you really start looking, it's all mixed together. Did you grab your copper? Yeah, you lay there. You know you got a good scrapper eye when you can tell from a distance, right? Is that galvanized? Nope, that ain't galvanized. Yeah, the thinness of it, yep, and 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 the green, you know, yeah, you see that hue on it. You get the thin and the uh, the patina, and that just that makes the copper radar go off. Yeah. Look at this. We are just tearing this place up. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a mess coming out of his dump because it's it, does that dump. Yeah, it does, but it's there's a lot of yeah, shit wrangled in there. You know, treat will be good. Yeah, it's going to be a long pile by the time it comes out of here. Yep. <laughs> There's a bunch of them. There's a couple None of that move. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
There, there's there's even a microwave just just dangling in midair down here, probably by its cord. polo almost one day too late he said if it was still there by Monday it was going we saved her we got the tandem back maybe one of these days we'll restore it No, you do not have my consent. You having fun? You do not have my consent. Did you break it yet? Yeah. Don't get these fenders all dirty. I got vape smoke in my face. Mm-hmm. Is this a real STI? Oh. Sure. <laughs> got them Ankies though. Yeah. No, it looks like a 20. It's a heck, heck trailer. We did say there was damage on the front door. Hmm. They said we can get into it. They're not here though. What's the date on these tires? 16. 16. The latches broke off of it. The tires are 2016. So that's good. Yeah. But On this side, anyway. But you see that damage in the front corner? Yeah. They got it like pop riveted over with a piece of sheet metal. You gotta sit down. We gotta look under it, too. These look like older tires on this side. Look at that one tire, dude. Yeah. It's That's like pretty it's waist. pretty crust it's pretty crusty in here, dude. This back wall. Yeah. I'm gonna try to look underneath real quick. Oh, see yeah. if I can lay down. $1, yeah, exactly. I don't think this is a twenty four foot trailer. I don't think it is either. Huh? I don't think it is either. This says I don't know, that's tire information. Huh. Not too bad under here. I mean, it's a little no, crusty. It's, not. it's a little crusty, but it ain't rotted. It's got that little extra ramp that pulls out. Yeah, well, it's it's car trailer. How's the roof look? See any leaks? It doesn't look like it. 
and the cables broke for the door. Got a little hair little side door there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either, Say we get on the horn and try to find another one we can go look at, maybe. I'm sure we can find some. You see the wet? Look look at the wet on the wood. You see it? You see it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's been leaking, for sure. Look at that. You see how crunchy it is? Yeah. Yep. All right, all right. Let's just close it up and get out of here. Yeah, it doesn't look that great. So we bought this in uh, Carlisle to uh -huh. move. Okay. So it's uh, how's the? Uh, I see the silicone on the roof. What did it get hit or something? A no, I, I don't know much it about was the like history. That. Yeah. yeah, we bought it like that. Okay. Obviously, it's had some work done there. Yeah. And we kept our stuff in there. So my in-laws moved out of the place. Okay. And then we moved our stuff in. And we moved their stuff in until they were ready to move. Cool. So we just used it to store some stuff for a while. What's up, bud? Hey, how are you? Justin, how are you? Joe. Nice to meet you. Be careful on this. Be careful on here, Justin. It's a little, yeah. it's a little salt over there. You know, if it leaks or anything? Well, we, didn't have, we didn't have any problems with it. No. I can tell you that before we put some stuff in it, yeah. we came over here and we, we gooed this up. Okay. Does that yeah. look like an issue? Yeah. And obviously it's been an issue at one point. Something hit here, yeah, but it looks like they got it siliconed up pretty good on the outside. If I was going to use this day to day, I would definitely take some of this wood off and make sure they did a good job. Yeah. yeah. But we just left it parked. We made one move with it. Yeah. And uh, it's definitely a perfect size, dude. A little bit here, too. You know? it's that could be factory. That's probably factory, truthfully. Definitely. So take the time, You know, it's got. It would probably have electric brakes and all that, right? It's got electric brakes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and I, I don't have a lot of experience moving these. Okay. Moving from Carl like to here, and everything was fine. It just seemed like a drone. Seemed right? like a drone fly to me, you know. But yeah, yeah. Said, yeah. Oh, we got some loose bolts here. Loose screws here. We just vibrated it's out. Not, used it I is. Can tell you right now, Could be trouble getting it out, honestly. I don't know, but if you touch it, you'll hear some air. Okay. This one probably has a slow leak too. The other side, I think we're okay. But okay. if it was me and I was going to put it into service, I'd be doing tires on it. Yeah. That's just personal preference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, what's yeah. the dates on them? Who knows? I'm not sure. Uh. When I got it, they serviced the bearings and the capsule. This hook. one's 14. Yeah, this one's leaking right now. Yep. Huh. Yeah, I topped them off to see what they would do. Yeah. This and tire, they're I plugged it in. I saw that one leaking. First, first week of 2014, Justin. So I probably need to. They're they're pretty dry rotted, but oh, no we could just put a, a valve stem in that one yeah. to get away with it for a couple days, maybe. I did. I had to do the same thing on this side before we used it. For some reason, the valve stem on one of the valve stems on this side rotted. I think it's this back guy. Yeah, he's got a new it's valve in stem. Better shape well, these than are. The other this one. is a different tire too. That's in a Carlisle. What? It's in better shape. Yeah, than I'm the just other one. The, the, that that ramp is the only thing I'm worried about. It's kind of soft. We're gonna go through it with our fat asses. <laughs> you know what I mean? That one side is real soft right here. Yep. Huh. I I say we deck right over it. Are you? How firm are you on the price? You know what I mean? We probably should deck right over this I'm before we go through it. Just because we, we put it on about, you know, five or six hours ago. Yeah, I know. Oh, we well, we just okay. seen it. I know. We've seen it. We've been looking. So we we'll drove around a bunch of places today looking at trailers. Yeah. We're going to look full asking uh, until, you know, maybe a couple weeks go by and okay. uh, collect some offers. Definitely got to have some tires put on it. That's what sucks. How about the wheel bearings? You never messed with any of that, right? You no, never... but they told me the bearings were done. Yeah. And I don't know about this side, but the other side looks like it's got fresh caps on it. Yeah, I hear you. The floor looks decent in here, though. Not too bad. That's for sure. What do you guys, if you don't mind me asking, what are you guys going to do with it? Uh, we do storage do, lockers. I'm sorry. Man. No, no, it's no problem. No problem. Storage lockers. Okay. And, you know. Well, yeah. We got a box truck, too, but it's... We use that for a flea market, so it's always loaded with stuff. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and this, mm -hmm. this guy, obviously they put that in after the fact. Yeah. 
And I put a I put a rivet in there, but I would definitely. Oh, I got you. All I would right. definitely look at that. That's that is probably not gonna hold. Yeah, it's all right though. We would only put light stuff up there anyway. Yeah, it's fine. Stuff we would want like ratchet straps and things like that. Mm -hmm. huh. Moving carts, things of that nature. The roof don't look too bad, Justin, except for where it got dinked in the front. But yeah. this was replaced. I replaced that because I was leaving. Yeah, that's the back. Yeah. Yeah, and it looks like they silicone it up good enough. We can just put some more on it for now. Yeah, you know. Got the paperwork, everything's clear, so everything's idle. Idle's yeah. ready to go, yep. 